uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, these are things, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bushman. Today, well, I'm going to show you a game from me, and a game from Shugu and Mugu. You might know him as the Machine of Justice, part of the winning APAC team from Risk, a spoke on the wheel of determined tanking glory. He's going to feature in a Sheridan game on Desert Sands, but first and foremost, I'm going to have a little chat to you about what I'm up to uh, and where I'm at. The game is still a lot of fun for me. I've, um, I've taken a break and I've come back and I'm actually enjoying it a hell of a lot. I had a big run with Ouija, I've been running a lot of stuff on my account, and I've been playing, basically I'm grinding the Russian light line because I don't have any... I've got no money right over there. This is playing the op this is the first game I played in the object, uh, the T9 Russian light tank, and I only have I think the gun rammer, and I'm not sure. I've got two bits of equipment on it. I don't have the optics yet. There you go. And I found that it was it was a wonderful tank. I really really enjoy it. Really good. I want to get the T100 LT, watching F Silver, and I actually met F Silver uh, in game the other day, he's running the FE4005. Um, I met him in game and said, g'day, how you going? And he didn't believe it was me, and I said, no, 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 it's me. Sent him a friend request and said g'day, and basically he inspired me to want to get this tank going, because he had some incredible moments, FT Silver, in the APAC finals, really, really Big moments, particularly one that we probably all saw in the Malinovka, where he circle of death the Type 71 at the end to get the, the job done. And I've been enjoying playing light tanks so very, very much. And the other tank I've been playing an enormous amount is the Centurion 701. And it continues to be an absolute beast. I've always been able to drive that thing, and I've always been able to get good numbers out of it. And that has not changed, despite the fact that I've been out of the game for quite some time. This is such a wonderful little tank. I'm having some internet issues here, you can probably see. Um, it's fast, it's low profile, and it's got um, a decent alpha gun, 350 alpha gun. So you're looking at something that does does the goods in no uncertain terms. And it's a good fun tank to drive. What you're going to see next, though, from Sugar and Mugu, is a replay where just a whole different level of tanking right? Um, he's going to be driving the Sheridan, the Tier 10 American light tank, the most controversial light tank that the game has ever seen. Um, and that's considering that they re introduced the Bat Chat at Tier 10 without on-the-move camouflage, and I went berserk about it and ended up ha having a big conversation with Wargaming, and we actually ended up getting camouflage put on it on the move, like every other light tank in the game. Uh, one of the things that I love about the Sheridan is that it reminds me a lot of the Centurion 7 and 1. And that's probably not going to make a lot of sense to you when you think about it. One's like a big derp gun. The other one's one of the most accurate, beautiful guns in the game, the L7A1, which eventually ended up on the Leopard and is is crazy good, right? But hear me out on this one. The, the big thing about the 7 and 1 is the Hesh round, okay? For the most part, your DPM is bad on the 7 and 1. What you need to make the DPM shine is to hit Hesh shots. If you hit Hesh shots, then your DPM is extraordinarily effective. Not only that, you don't expect to get max roll for 550 by a tier 9 medium tank. And that's exactly what happens when you max roll a Hesh shot. 440 alpha is your average. But running about 210 pen, you're looking like a pretty good session. And I... I really enjoyed this tank, and there's going to be more light tank stuff in the future. That's exactly the playstyle of the Sheridan. The Sheridan is a tank that I find needs to hit the right shots to maximize its DPM. Anyway, onwards to our feature presentation. And the Sheridan has to have HE shots hit to maximize its DPM. It has to minimize the amount of premium ammunition it's using to maximize its DPM because although it is a very nice tier 10 light tank, the way it operates is not as a pure DPM machine. Uh, it is all about those beautiful big alpha moments, which is what 
you love seeing in the game in the Scent 7 and 1. The Sheridan does it in a very different way to the Scent. The Scent uses gun depression and a very strong turret to get shots off where it wants them. The Sheridan is using mobility and skill. And he's very unlucky not to hit that shot. Six minutes to go. Now, what I want you to think about is how much work Sugar Wumugu does to keep the gun in the game here. And that's a that's not a good trade for him. Straight away, like he's he's come up very disappointed in that trade. He's got five rounds left of the HE. He's crossing over to keep the gun. Just is that a lovely bit of tanking there, and gets rewarded with the 524 donk. We're at 751 hit points damage, and there is under six minutes left in the game. And he has realized straight away that there are too many tanks out here, and that if there's any work to be done, it's going to need to be done in here, in the hard stuff. And he's rolling all the way into the heavy route in one of the lightest tanks in the tier to put big numbers out. And he's not just walked up and fired, he's picked out the low hit point target, so he's maximizing the efficiency on the shell. And he's utilizing what is a very interesting array of tanks over here for his teammate. I love that shot. Again, Sugar Mugu going for the kill shot rather than going for the high damage shot. He's got to move now because that is an awfully big Death Star. He's desperately hoping this E100 is not paying attention, and he's not. Snaps a shot off on the move, rolling, rolling, rolling. He's got to be tempted to hit the uh, adrenaline rush here, and he does. And now he's very happy too to see the back end of that E100, uh, that 183, 600 plus into the back end, and we're now at 2.6k. This is a wonderful drive. Basically, he's gone between, around, and above a whole buttocks load of tanks. And he's using the 183 for cover, just in case that E100 wakes up and turns around. They're a tank down at the moment. Sugar Umugu is middle map in the cap circle, and an absolute nightmare for our mate, the 183. And he's now moving out here to try and assist his teammate and get back shots into the next Death Star. This is the epitome of good light tanking. If you're going to run a light tank, you've got to get used to the idea that you're not just running around on flanks. And you've got to use that mobility and speed. And a lot of these tournament guys really do showcase this. They don't wait for an invitation. They take off at pace and start putting the tank in a good position to succeed, right? Even if it is on the heavy route. Unfortunate there, he turns... His teammate around. This is a big moment. He's got to get down there. The E100 is rolling. There is a mouse in the house somewhere over here. And he is the low hit point target, the E100. So he's going to get stuck into him. Gets a shot in. Gets one free one. Backs it up and is immediately exiting stage right. This has been a superb drive so far. 5.3k. Uh, just over three minutes to go. So he's done about 5,000 damage <laughs> in just over two minutes. That's a hell of an effort. And he's done it on the heavy line. Now resetting the camo using the natural agility and camouflage of the Sheridan to get out on the flank and possibly just, just get a free shot. That's what he's looking for. Spotting up the mouse. And this is a perfect world for him in terms of his camouflage rating. There's no chance the mouse of the E100 are going to be the first ones in. And if that E100 goes in cap, which he looks like he's going to do, oh, he's so tempted to pull the trigger early, waiting for that perfect shot. This is such a temptation. What a shot. What a ripper. And unspotted into the bargain because he was firing through the two bushes. And now the mouse is absolutely at sixes and sevens. This is a 1v1. But that mouse is just such a tough target for this tank to deal with. He's got heat, and he's got those tiny bits on the turret cheeks, but they're not easy to pen. They're not easy to pen at all. Still, he's got time on his side. Two minutes to go, and Sugar and Magoo is exactly where he wants to be. Just short of 6,000 damage, lobbing three shells down, finally spotted, and he's starting to make a move because he's got to reset that cap circle. 40 seconds in, 1 minute 43 to go. You'd think that the only way he wins this is by clearing. Now, did you see what he did there? Faked out, 
drove forward, got the mouse looking to the other flank. <laughs> oh, boys and girls. That's, that's how you do it. He drove away until the camo reset, came back to the exact same spot and manufactured side shots in the mouse. Brilliant work from one of APAC's finest. Um, I've got to say, watching Sugar and Mugu, FT Silver and the rest of the mob go round in the finals was a real treat. They, and everyone that played, like, there was no bad teams on the APAC finals. They all were outstanding. In fact, that was probably the highest level of tournament that I've ever cast, and I was really happy to be part of it. And you can see why when you look at this game. Into the uh, absolute nuts and bolts of it now. And he's got him where he wants him. He's going to have to give up a little. Beautiful heat round. Straight through. Behind. And if he can just sit himself in on the back door. Oh, the mouse is desperate to get him stuck up against that other tank. But that's beautiful. That's beautiful again. He's dropped the adrenaline. 27 seconds to go. He's got to get through an awful lot of mouse. And this is where the DPM of the Sheridan kind of lets it down. Like it doesn't have crazy DPM. 15 seconds to go and he's still not finished with this mouse. It's got to go in, boys and girls. This has to go in. Eight seconds. Look at the mouse. He's tortured. Oh, three seconds to go and over 8,000 damage. That is, I mean, he didn't even get a, a centilla of damage till six minutes to go. That means he was doing more than a thousand damage a minute for the whole rest of the game. That is huge output. That is an incredible effort keeping a gun like a tank on like on the Sheridan in the game for that long. Constantly turning over and working both the heavy and the medium flank. So well done Sugar and Magoo. Lots more to come. Don't forget to subscribe. Get into it boys and girls and until next time stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.